Elgato has been a, a company that's in the uh, the Mac Lovers Hall of Fame. You guys have been doing great work for a long time. So I was excited to see that you guys have HomeKit compatibility and a bunch of really interesting sensors. Yes, so I'm here with Christopher Neal from Elgato to go uh, take a walk down this really interesting path here. By the way, this is a uh, this is an audio and video podcast. So as you point to things that explain it, I may stop you and just describe it a little bit more. Okay, sounds great. So what we have here would be our Eve door and window sensor. And so all of those, uh, all of the information there can be stored in the dedicated application here via your iPad, iPod, iPod Touch, or your iPhone. And it, you guys are HomeKit compatible, which is the most are. important thing to me. And uh, so this works through the hub, through your, like you say, an Apple TV or an iPad it at home. It can be. And it can interoperate with any, any vendor, um, such as Philips Hue, uh, Honeywell, or any other HomeKit certified vendor can interoperate with our products as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so these are contactless uh, window sensors, so you could have it set up that you know that a window's open, for Correct. example. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to be walking down an aisle of, uh, this is one of the craziest displays. We've got bright white lights hanging these things, so I'm going to keep rotating these. Let's see, we're at the Eve Motion. What does this do? Basically, the Eve Motion kind of acts in correlation if you do have a home security system in your house uh, to also d declare motion sensor. Okay, cool. Motion detection, so you, it sets the rules, the, the insights, and all of the um, information that you need to know who is coming in and outside of your home. Oh, very, very cool. All right, let's keep going. Let's see. These communicate, These communicate through, through Wi-Fi? Actually, Bluetooth, LE. It's Bluetooth low energy. Um, so, so well, But that's going to make the batteries last a long time. Why'd you do it'll, that? It'll make the batteries last a long time. That is a little bit of a cl close range. Uh, some of our consumers have wondered how they would be able to get that information if they are far away. But you could utilize the Apple TV as a liaison, as a gateway to be able to get that information to see who is coming in from your home, whether you're at work or on vacation. Okay, okay, that's cool. So yeah, using, so you guys don't have a centralized hub of your own? No, we don't. Which makes me so happy. We were hearing everybody was going to have their own physical hub. I was going to have to get a 16-port switch just to, you know, open exactly. my doors. Yes. Let's see. All right. What's the next one's called? The uh, Eve Room, a wireless indoor sensor. And what does this one do? This is our indoor sensor that measures the volatile organic compounds, which is a VOC, so e.g. like formaldehyde, um, those sorts of carbon, things. Carbon monoxide? Cor correct. Oh, and great. so if you have a, a problem area in a home, this will punch out insights into your into the application to see how your home is measuring up as far as meeting the standards of a smart home. Especially if someone has respiratory issues, this is a wonderful device to be able to have, um, to be able to see how you can go about, you know, implementing certain filters or whatnot. Oh, okay. To, to help with more. Uh, I, I sure hope we don't find formaldehyde or somebody's doing something. Quality. Somebody's doing something real weird in the basement. If yes. we got that. Yes. All right, we're going to keep going down here. Now we've got the uh, Eve weather. Oh, I wanted to ask on on the uh, Eve room. Was that the one that also is a temperature sensor? It is. In the Eve room. Pardon me, the Eve Room uh, also looks at the temperature as well as the humidity in your household as well. So I like the idea of this and make sure I understand the Eve Room would allow me to have a sensor downstairs that would tell my thermostat upstairs that I'm downstairs and I would like it to be warmer downstairs? Exactly. To my, be able my thermostat to, upstairs says, yeah, yes. it's fine up here. Yes. I'm freezing to death downstairs. To be able to modulate that temperature between room to room in your own house to make sure your home is functioning in the most environmental you know, um, sound yeah, aspect yeah. possible. So would the Eve room have to hook up to an Eve thermostat? No, it doesn't. But it can work in harmony with any HomeKit certified thermostat oh, okay. perfect, that is on perfect. the market. That's really nice to be able to mix and match. That's yeah. great. So Eve Weather is next up. These all kind of look alike. I hope I don't get they them mixed do. up. This is um, Eve Weather, which basically looks at the ambient air t uh, temperature, biometric pressure, air This pressure, is outdoor. And this is outdoor and the humidity as well. Very so cool. if you have someone who lives in a like the Pacific Northwest or any place that has altitude and they may have to deal with altitude headaches or whatever the case may be, this is a really good um, way to be able to measure that. Oh, with the air pressure as well. So, so what would I? This would report back again to the app. It would the the application, which could be utilized via your iPhone, your iPod, 
Touch or your iPad. Very cool. And is this another? Uh, this is. We're still working on this one. It's not right. out yet. Can we walk down but to that's that? That's our like our second generation um, Eve Weather. Oh, okay. Sensor. Now this one's tiny and looks a little. This different. one's a little bit smaller and is and it's design and then this will actually have a digital display with it. Oh, okay. All right. This is very cool. Now, there are about 40 more devices here, there but I don't, I don't think we're going to go through them all, There's but just give me a general, what other categories of devices do you have here? Um, we do have a smoke detector here, but this is will be only be launched in Europe. This is for Europe. Okay. Well, Europe. we got European friends. What are, just kind of what are the categories of things? I don't think we have time to go through them uh, oh, all. Oh, we have a also a, a, contr a wireless controlled irrigation con system there. Battery powered. And it's also um, covered so you don't have to worry about, you know, water splashing on into it. So but is this it, for don't don't uh, run your sprinklers when it's raining? <laughs> Essentially, especially Especially if you're trying to be very, very uh, conservative when it comes to the usage of water, it could, you could basically control the water from from away from your home to turn it on and off. Okay, and also, does it do also sensing as well? So it, that's going to tell you when to do that, right? Correct. All right. You can also set rules to it. It sounds like people should go to Elgato.com and just start looking at all of these. Yes. You got everything. Yes, our all of our sensors. All of our products are all displayed at Elgato.com. Um, Eve Weather, our indoor sensor, those types of products can be purchased at either the Apple Store, directly at El Elgato.com, Best Buy, or Amazon. Very good. Thank you very much for your time, Christopher. Oh, wait. One more question. Oh, yeah. Price points. What are we talking about here? So, for Eve Weather, uh, Eve Energy, um, Eve Room, 49 uh, Actually, the Eve Room is $79.95. Eve Weather uh, is, and the Eve Energy are, are 40, 49 dollars so Under 100 bucks across yeah. the board here. That, yeah. that's, uh, that's nice. That's nice because everything was real expensive for a while. It sounds like it's coming down. And our, and our contact door and window sensor is $39.95. Oh, very so good. It's all very under $100. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, Christopher. My pleasure.